All these people that are incredibly dumb. That's why they have to go for these immediate gotchas like, Oh, you support genocide? You support genocide? You support genocide? Oh, you're genocide. This is just like the Nazis. Ooh. Literally no, no substance, nothing else. Immediately attacking decolonization based on like a dichotomy between like genocide and no genocide they just randomly invented. When funnily enough, they are the ones who are on the side of genocide. I actually, the other day, like was arguing about this on Twitter, of course. And um, these people started going to bat for Nazi settler colonialism. Like they realized they're basically Nazis on this. So they have to go to bat for Nazi settler colonialism. So I'll give you some background here if you don't know. So... The Nazis' main reason for starting World War II, for doing the Holocaust, for doing everything, was that they wanted to conquer land in Eastern Europe for German settlement. They wanted to mass deport and or genocide the people who lived there and replace them with German settlers or take the ethnic Germans who already live there and give them more land. That was Nazis' overarching reason for doing World War II and most people don't know about it, sadly. I'll give you a quote Hitler said in... um. Mein Kampf, which is a great book that everyone should definitely read. Foreign policy is the art of securing the necessary living space in quantity and quality for a people. Domestic policy is the art of preserving the necessary employment of force for this. So what he was saying there is that domestic policy is primarily a vehicle to carry out foreign policy. And for him, foreign policy meant conquering land for Nazi settlement. So if you want to know who's on the side of the Nazis here, it's the people defending settlement, defending settler colonialism, upholding it, being made uncomfortable by decolonization. That's who is on the side of the Nazis here. Not the colonized who want self-determination, not the people who support them. Now that you have that context, I'm going to show you another Twitter thread. People going to bat for Nazi settlers who were deported from Poland and Ukraine after World War II. They, they are specifically equivocating this. They acknowledge that this example is similar to what they purport to be against. So they have to defend it and they do try to defend it. This guy asks, was it also an ethno-nationalism when the Poles kicked out German settlers after World War II? Now for extra context, those German settlers were moved there illegally, by the way. It is illegal to implant settlers into conquered territory. Okay? And obviously if it's illegal to implant settlers in the Congo territory, then they had no right to be there. And the ethnic Germans who already live there, overwhelmingly supported the Holocaust, overwhelmingly benefited from Germany taking these lands. They moved into their, they, you know, they took their fucking Jewish or Slav neighbor's farm for themselves. They joined up with Nazi death squads and helped to murder their neighbors, overwhelmingly. So to go to bat for those people, to go to bat for them, and essentially acknowledge that they're the same thing. And this guy says, that would likely fall under a crime against humanity. No, literally no, it wouldn't. Those people were illegal, illegally implanted settlers by a conquering power. None of that would be fall under a crime against humanity. They literally stole the fucking land from their neighbors, helped to murder them. And most of them were, were moved there, implanted by the conquering power. Yeah, that's actually forced resettlement, which is considered genocide by the UN. No, it's not. It's not considered genocide for one. Not in any respect is forced resettlement considered genocide by the UN definition, which, you know, there's a reason for that. And it's because Western countries didn't want to include it because they had done forced resettlement against indigenous people. But for two, deporting literally illegal, illegally implanted settler colonists who just did genocide against you is not forced resettlement, nor is it genocide because it's based on a material, on a material status. It's not based on ethnicity. It's based on what they did. It's based on what they stole literally four or five years earlier at the, at the earliest. And these people will go to bat for Nazi settlers because they recognize that their own, their own states are based on the exact same notion of sovereignty as Nazi sovereignty over Eastern Europe was reportedly based on. Nothing more than right of conquest. I think this just goes to show how fucking bankrupt these people are and the links that they'll go to to attack decolonization, the links that they will go to to defend colonization and colonialism, because that's what you're doing here. If you're against decolonization, you're pro-colonialism. There's no ifs, and or buts. What happened in the US is analogous to what the Nazis did. What happened in Australia is analogous to what the Nazis did. What happened in Canada is analogous to what the Nazis did. What happened in South Africa is analogous to what the Nazis did. Nazism was a radicalization of European colonialism in other parts of the world. Started in Ireland, went to the Americas and Africa, came back to Europe and was implemented or at least tried to be implemented by the Nazis in Eastern Europe. And these people, like when you give them the analogy, so so you're, you're against decolonization, 
So does that mean, you know, you're against indigenous sovereignty, you're against abolishing the US state, so would you be against abolishing Nazi Poland then? You know, would you be against appropriating stolen, stolen estates, stolen apartments, and giving them back to the, to the Jews and the Slavs who they were stolen from? These people would say no to that. And the worst thing about it is they're also like, yeah, it's ethnic cleansing if the people who literally just did genocide against you aren't allowed to just live alongside you as if nothing happened on the land and, and the housing that they stole from your family who they also murdered to get it. Literally, like, a couple of years later, if you don't want them living alongside you after, the, after they were militarily defeated, that's ethnic cleansing. Sorry, folks. It is so fucking absurd. It really goes to show how much this decolonization discourse is essentially based on based upon white people being made uncomfortable. That they will go to the links to defend Nazi settler colonialism and demand that victims of genocide literally like live alongside their genociders and just let them stay on, on the land that they stole from them as if nothing ever happened. And like they try to say that the difference is that time has passed, but clearly it's not because they're saying there, well, you know, Time hasn't passed and it's still wrong to do. Time hasn't passed and it's still wrong to appropriate stolen land from these people who, who just stole it like a few years earlier. It's like if you want to put these any of these people in a bind, what you say to them is, let's imagine that the Nazis conquered, conquered Poland and the Ukraine and settled it successfully. Like 50 years later, 100 years later, would you then be, be willing to say, well, that's theirs now, you know, they might have conquered it illegitimately, but they live there now. They might have murdered the people who live there. They might have deported them. They might have enslaved them. But well, too much time has passed. They've succeeded in their conquest. It's theirs now. It would be ethnic cleansing and genocide to fight back against them, to demand self-determination, to demand decolonization of this space. It's, it's, it's like people who purport themselves to be progressives, leftists. And by the way, everything that I'm saying here is liberal. What I'm saying here is not controversial. This is liberal. It's completely in line with liberal international law that a conquering power cannot implant settlers. So these people are further right than liberals, or at least liberal theory. And they're trying to frame it as like them being woke people who are like for the working class and all of this shit. When if they're just right wing on this, they agree with Nazis on this, they agree with fascists on this.